Ugh. Oh. Oh. Anyway, so this Patrick was drawn for this game. Kudos to them on that for not using stock art. Let's... All right. As we know, Patrick can curl his fists. So when you look at his hands, they're just nublets. He has like... They're not solid arms. They're muscular. They made a skinny buff Patrick, basically. His pants have a sharp bend here. It looks sharper when I look at the, the green line. He has a couple of spots. They added those. That's good. This face is perfect, and nothing is wrong with it. These hearts... Look at this. All right. I like that it changes color better than the Motu Potlu game. I love SpongeBob hiding beneath the heart and blinking. Oh, and that was a double blink. I'm poking his eye. He does single... Single, a double blink. I like that. That is a nice touch. Should have moved Patrick over or behind the text, because otherwise it's SpongeBob SquarePants v hurts. The hearts fall off of the edge of the game, but that's probably just due to the, how it was. Oh no! The, you know what? No, no, no. This is an official Nickelodeon website. This isn't even a ported one. This is the official Nickelodeon. So yes, for all intents and purposes, it fell off of the page. So, the rest of these, it's the same heart, uh, which looks like the bottom of one of those chocolate heart containers. And also, they have Spongebob animated here. Uh, they sort of mowed seven his torso, and it squishes, and then his hands move back and forth. Uh, and then this leg kicks. This leg does not. But that's fine. You know what? I'm, I'm okay with this. This is, this, this is fine. This is absolutely fine by me. He looks basically all right, except there's a little bit of a space. They just drew him, and then they rotated the top part of his head. Like, they drew the pants separate, and then just tilted the head slightly to the side. So it's supposed to be upwards. This way, he looks like he's looking upwards. I will give that a pass, too. Instructions. Also, I love that they had... They have, uh, they drew up the hearts around here, they have the background, which they also drew up, and this banner here, which does not- Oh, it does! Alright, never mind! No cards, no present, no nothing! From his buddy Spongebob on Valentine's Day, now Patrick is on the rampage! Grab chocolates and throw them at Patrick. Crash Sandy's chocolate balloon into him for bonus points. Press up to jump and spacebar to throw. Oh my gosh, that's right! This was one of the earlier ones. Okay, no, you know what? Yeah, this game... Um, when I played it before, it was cropped correctly. Now we get to actually see what's off screen, and we can actually watch as the game loads everything in. So I will not blame them for this, because it was... It was actually in this box here. This little box that you could actually see. It's cool. I like how Patrick is animated. I don't hit the balloons. The balloons are bad. Okay. I was running into the balloons thinking I needed to. So if you stop moving, Spon SpongeBob will move to the, the, the side. I just ran through that balloon. It, it should have hit me. I made a mistake there, clearly. Um, so that is bad. I, something I do like is, as you collect chocolates, instead of it just being a number, they actually appear in the box of chocolates itself. And then I throw them at Patrick to pause the entire game, because he, he stops, and then when he hits Patrick, it works. Er, there we go. Now I gotta run over to the side. There's no way of stopping Patrick. This goes on infinitely. How do I get Sandy's balloon? Do I need to jump to hit it? Do I need to throw chocolate at the balloon? I like this. I forgot. That's why I probably came back to this, despite the opening, because it was fun. It's a simple looping background. Okay, there's the balloon. How do I crash the balloon into... that? I don't know. Um, something else good to point out. When Spongebob runs, he has a running animation that that's moving, it's lively. His eye is a different color, which which is... It works cartoonishly. I love the fact that Patrick's eyes are just completely solid red as he runs and rampages and attacks. I don't know why or how Patrick grew enormous. I guess when his heart is broken, it grew... It, it, instead of his... Unlike the Grinch whose heart grew three sizes that day, 
Patrick's body grew three sizes that day when his heart was broken. That will be my, uh, canon reasoning. And again, I love that your counter for the chocolate actually, like, each of the chocolates you collect are important because they appear on the bottom there. They have their own individual little space and you can carry only as much as you can fit into the box. I love that. And then when Spongebob attacks, or any when he throws the chocolate at Patrick, he then does another separate throwing animation. And he also has a still animation, which I need to show you too. When you stand still, he looks around at Patrick, he looks upwards and is scared. I love that! This is a- this is a game worthy of the older Spongebob games. I am- or at, le at least the fun that I had during the older Spongebob games. <laughs> he just crushes Spongebob! I like that these float up and down, I like how the balloons float up and down as well, and kind of spin simulating a balloon movement. Oh, there he goes! Off the screen! We get to actually see where he's heading. He just stops. He can't go past the opposite end of the screen. I love that. <laughs> uh, this is cool seeing the game and seeing more of the inner workings of it on the left and right. I like that the continue screen, it opens up as well. I like that SpongeBob unsquishes at least. <laughs> this game was made in one week. So the fact that they drew up as much as they did specifically for this game and you hit continue, and then here's the screen. Yes, we will play this again. I love the way that Patrick moves. I don't know how to move the other thing. He feels super floaty and like you couldn't control it, but there's enough leeway in the game where it works out just fine. All you need to do is keep trying to run all the way over to the right. There's no lives or penalty for getting hit by the balloons. So unless you stop, that's the only issue. And you'll stop to throw the chocolates at him. Why he covers his face when you give him the chocolates that he wants? I guess his heart is already broken, so giving him chocolates isn't going to do anything. Still don't know how to stop that sandy balloon. The music tied with his motions, tied with the way that the ground will shake when he stomps on the ground. I mean, look at that. Oh, well, I guess it, it didn't shake there. It looked like it was shaking when he stomps on the ground. It freezes a bit, but that's just due to the game being kind of glitchy. Uh, and the game being glitchy is only due to the, what do you call it? The fact that it, we're not playing it as it originally once was. I am going to try and then collect these chocolates and save them for when Sandy is off screen. I, something else I also like is that this is a good high score sort of game. Because you can just keep playing it for as long as you want. There's little skill in terms of trying not to die. When you run away, basically I'm just pressing and holding right the entire time, because if you don't, you will just die. Okay, now I'm going to attack him since Sandy is off screen. Maybe that will cause her to... nope. Uh, and we're squished. I don't know why you'd ever want to go to the left, but it's still an option. Um... I really thought I had crashed the balloon at some point. Do I need to click on it? Is that a secret? I will try it once more. I don't... I don't know. I, don't, I also don't know if any of this is showing up on the screen. Now, he doesn't have a jump animation, but he does have a herd animation. Alright, so now I'm going to try and hit the balloon. It's a, it's, it's a different object. I can't hit the balloon when things are frozen. Can I click it? I cannot click it. How do I get the balloon to work? I do not know. I'm actually having so much more fun with this than I thought I was going to. And unlike Chum is Fum where you can only go for so long before it automatically stops you, you can play this for as long as you want. You get as many points as you want to endure. Move, move, SpongeBob, move! I don't know why he wasn't moving. I like this! All right, let's head over to the, uh, the Excel chart. So, in terms of quality, as these SpongeBob games go, it had a fair bit of polish and a lot of care that went into it. I'm going to say... In terms of the love... It had charm. 
you know what? I it, it had charm. I liked the look of the game. I am going to give the quality a nine. The control was floaty, and it felt good. I didn't have a problem controlling SpongeBob. And he jumped well enough. I kind of liked the floatiness. You stop because Patrick approaches you so fast, but it does add a bit of a panic to it. If you got hit by a balloon, that wasn't going to be a game over, and there weren't lives either. It was just, oh, you got hit by a balloon? Okay. You just aren't able to move to the right. Uh, and only for a little bit. It was good. Um, the controls weren't the best, but they didn't hurt the game, and they kind of... It, it was kind of pleasant being able to jump all the way up into the top of the screen and everything. Couldn't figure out what was happening with Sandy. And then it, it did get a little bit glitchy there. I think it was just due to the version. I'm going to give it a 9. Quality, in terms of the care that was put into the game... I guess I should be harder on it and give it a 9. Well... Yeah, I have to have some standard. I'm going to give it a 9. Because it was still a little bit derpy. Oh, but they cared about the animations. All right. I'm giving it a 10. Again, it was made in a week, so I can't be super harsh on it. And then in terms of the other games on here, they cared. They they cared. I believe that was one of the earlier ones that was made as well. I had a lot more fun with this than I thought. There isn't truly a real goal. It is a fantastic, mindless game to play if you come back home from work. And I've said that about some of these other ones. But unlike, uh, what was it? This one. Uh, Crabby Catch, which was, it got hectic, um, but still a lot of fun. Like, you could keep doing it. And you'd lose based off of your own inability to succeed, as opposed to the game just not allowing you to go any further due to it just being impossible. The fun, you don't really get much of a reward besides score. Um, but it's an arcade-style game. It, it's not supposed to ultimately have something. Like Pac-Man, you just keep playing until you stop. It's, it's all about just having fun. There's not too much to the game. I wish there were a couple more power-ups or anything, or something like that. But I had an, I, a really enjoyable time with that. I had much more fun than I thought I was going to have. And it worked out nicely. And when you threw the thing at Patrick, it gave you... It stopped the screen as well. It's something else that I liked. So it really did feel like um, your, your chocolates had some sort of meaning to them. You didn't just throw them while he was attacking or anything. And he's, he's like an impenetrable boss. He's going to just keep going onwards upset. And you don't actually die in the end. He crushes you, and then he continues to rampage forward. He's not actually destroying anything either. Um, so ultimately, you, I guess you could just imagine that he'll he'll calm down over over some amount of time. And it's low risk. It's a very fun, mindless game. I would actually recommend this as just a Spongebob-themed Flash game. It has charm to it. It was enjoyable to play. You, you press and hold right the entire time, basically. Uh, then you press space to attack him. Basically, there's no reason to stop pressing right. I like it. I think it's just a fun game. I hope this series is still fun and enjoyable to you. But I believe it's that time again, friends. If you like what I do, don't be shy to give a thumbs up. Have a pleasant day, everyone. And this is Handington, signing off. Bye!